welcome to this lecture of highway engineering in this lecture we will be talking about marshall mix design so what is a mix design a mix design is a design of bituminous mixture and which includes coarse aggregates fine aggregates filler and bituminous binders you are well versed about aggregate now filler is a new term filler are used to increase the density and to fill the voids in a bituminous mix and lastly, the bituminous binder are used to bind those materials. Since this bituminous mix is to be used as a surface course of a flexible pavement, we desire some of the properties that it should possess. So these desired properties of a bituminous mixture are, since this bituminous mix is to be used as a surface course, we want our bituminous mix to be stable to withstand the stresses and deformation under the repeated application of wheel loads. After that, our bituminous mix should be flexible and should be resistant to cracks under heavy load and should withstand fatigue effects and development cracks. Our third point is it should possess enough resistance to permanent deformation under heavy loading. After that, it should also possess resistance to low temperature cracking under traffic movement. Our fifth point is our bituminous mix should be durable and should withstand under adverse conditions and repeated traffic loads. Our sixth point is it should possess enough air voids to prevent bleeding. If there is more content of bituminous binder and very very less content of air voids then it will result in bleeding. Bleeding means that your binder will flow out of the aggregates and then will be stripped off with the wheel load. Seventh is, it should have adequate skid resistance. You know what is skid resistance? When a vehicle stops immediately, and then the chances of skidding gets increased. So, to prevent the phenomenon of skidding, our pavement should have adequate resistance to skidding. Now, our eighth point is, our mix should be workable. Our mix should be workable, and it should not get hardened very immediately just after heating so keeping in mind all these desired properties we need to design a bituminous mix so there are various tests for design of bituminous mixture and these include marshall stability test weem stability meter test hubbard field test and super pave mix design method and among these the only test which is very much popular is Marshall stability test and it is commonly used as this method has been specified by IRC and MORTH and MORTH means Ministry of Road Transportation and Highway. So now let's dive into Marshall mix design. So in Marshall mix design we prepare a specimen of diameter 101.6 mm and thickness 63.5 mm by compressing it into a cylindrical mold. It is conducted on a compacted cylindrical specimen of bituminous mix of diameter 101.6 mm and thickness 63.5 mm. So in this test there are two main terms and these terms are asked so many times in IES and GATE exams and these terms are the first one is Marshall stability. So what is Marshall stability? Marshall stability value is the maximum load at 60 degrees Celsius to cause deformation. It is measured in kgs. So stability is equal to the maximum load in kgs. Whereas the second most important term in this Marshall stability test is the flow value. Now what is the flow value? The total deformation the Marshall test specimen undergoes at the maximum load is called as flow value and it is expressed in mm. So these are the two main terms. The first one is the Marshall stability and the second one is the flow value, the Marshall flow value. Now let's talk about this Marshall mix design test. In this test, the aggregates and filler are mixed together in the desired proportion to fulfill the design requirements and the specified gradation. The required quantity of the material aggregates is weighed to produce a compacted bituminous mix specimen of 63.5 mm thickness and 101.6 mm diameter. Okay, about 1200 grams of aggregate mix is required. And this mix is heated at a temperature of 175 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Celsius. 
and also when this mix is compacted the mold assembly and the rammer are also kept preheated at a temperature of 95 degrees celsius to 150 degrees celsius after that the required quantity of bituminous binder is heated to a temperature of 120 degrees celsius to 165 degrees celsius and then mixed with these aggregates and filler material after thoroughly mixing at a specified temperature this mix is placed in a preheated mold assembly so after this bitumen is transferred into a preheated mold this bitumen is compacted by a rammer which is kept at a height of 457 millimeters and then dropped 75 times on either side of this mold so this line is very important after the compaction the specimen is sent to Marshall stability testing machine and a constant deformation load at a rate of 55 mm per minute is applied and the deformation readings are closely observed. The maximum load reading and the corresponding deformation of the specimen at failure load are noted and after that these values are expressed in terms of Marshall stability and Marshall flow values. Once again I want to tell you that Marshall stability is the maximum load at 60 degrees Celsius to cause the deformation and the flow value is the deformation caused at the maximum load.